అందరికీ నమస్కారం అండి ఎ వెరీ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ అండ్ ఎ వామ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఫర్ టుడేస్ ట్యాక్స్ వెబినార్ సెషన్ మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ శ్రీదేవి జాగర్ల మోడీ తెలుగు కళా సమితి అధ్యక్షురాన్ని మా తెలుగు కళా సమితికి దాదాపు ముప్పై ఐదు సంవత్సరాల ఘన చరిత్ర ఉందండి తెలుగు కళా సమితి ద్వారా మన తెలుగు భాషను సంస్కృతి సంప్రదాయాలను ఇక్కడ ఉన్న తెలుగు వారికి అందజేయడంలో ముఖ్య ధ్యేయంగా ముందుకు సాగుతున్నామండి వాటితో పాటు వివిధ రంగాల్లో రంగాల అవగాహన కోసం మేము ఇటువంటి వెబినార్స్ అండి లైక్ హెల్త్ కి సంబంధించి ఫైనాన్స్ కి సంబంధించింది ఇమిగ్రేషన్ కి సంబంధించింది మొదలగు సెక్టర్స్ లో వెబినార్స్ ని కండక్ట్ చేస్తుంటాము దానిలో భాగంగానే ఈనాటి మన ట్యాక్స్ వెబినార్ అండి ముందుగా ఈ రోజు వెబినార్ లో వెళ్లే ముందు మా టీమ్ ని పరిచయం చేస్తాను మాతో నాతో పాటు ఈ రోజు మా టీమ్ మెంబర్స్ అండి శ్రీనివాస్ చెరువు వైస్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ మెంబర్షిప్ చైర్ ఉన్నారు అలాగే సెక్రటరీ బిందు ఎలమంచిలి అలాగే జ్యోతి గండి ట్రెజరర్ అలాగే రవి అన్నదానం గారు కమ్యూనిటీ చైర్ నమస్కారం అండి ఈ రోజు ఇంకా జాయిన్ అవ్వలేకపోయిన మా టీమ్ మెంబర్స్ అనురాధ పార అండ్ అనురాధ దాసరి అండి వాళ్ళిద్దరు అనురాధ పార ఈవెంట్స్ చైర్ అనురాధ దాసరి ఐటీ చైర్ అండి ఇకపోతే ఆ ఈనాటి మన గెస్ట్ ఇక తొందరగా కార్యక్రమాలకు వెళ్ వెళ్ళిపోదాము ఎందుకంటే ఐ నో ట్యాక్స్ ఫైలింగ్ ఈజ్ ఎ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వెరీ ఎంతూజియాస్టిక్ టు హియర్ ఫ్రమ్ అవర్ స్పీకర్ అండ్ గెస్ట్ ఫర్ టుడేస్ ఈజ్ అనిల్ గ్రాంధీ అనిల్ అనిల్ గ్రాంధీ ఈజ్ అ సిఇఓ అండ్ ఫౌండర్ ఆఫ్ ఏజీ ఫెన్ ట్యాక్స్ అఫీషియల్ మెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్బ్స్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ కౌన్సిల్ హీ హ్యాస్ రిటర్న్ మెనీ ఆర్టికల్స్ ఆన్ ఫైనాన్స్ అండ్ ట్యాక్స్ not only that he has 17 plus years of experience in finance profession as finance controller cfo and other senior uh, executive positions wow 17 plus and they are very good worked in uh, amazon starbucks pwc and sun edison his mission to help small business owners thorough tax planning also a great speaker for many media channels and the tv shows so before we uh in uh, anil garu take over i just want to remind everybody if you are not speaking uh, please make yourself audio is a mute as well as if you have during the presentation or after the presentation if you have questions please use the zoom chat one of my team members will read those questions for anil garu as well as uh, uh, some of you already submitted the questions for uh, this uh, seminar which anil garu will take over like he knows he is aware of those questions so he will be answering uh, the pre requested pre questions as well as uh, during the session he will be answering that being said anil garu it's all yours go ahead thank you thank you very much sridev garu for the nice introduction and thank you very much to telugu fine arts society for this opportunity to share my knowledge with my community members and thanks to all the leadership team actually i have been following uh, your uh, uh, also your society activities you guys are doing great you are doing lot of you are trying to bring lot of awareness to the community and with a non profit motto and i really appreciate all your efforts and uh, without any further delay let's get into the topic now i'm just sharing my screen so as we are licensed professionals we need to give few disclaimers so today uh, whatever i'm sharing here i'm just trying to share my knowledge about us taxation and also an indian taxation and uh, please don't consider this as applicable for you it may be applicable it might not be applicable for you because from person to person the situation might differ so i strongly recommend you to work with your finance professional or tax uh, tax pro or cfo uh, sorry or a cpa or your financial advisor before you implement any of those strategies or at least have one on one meeting with me to ensure that they are applicable for you so and at for the next 45 minutes around you are going to spend some time with me and it's always good to know with whom you are talking so as shridhar bigar highlighted at very high level i have 17 years of experience and i am the first ever telugu speaking folks finance council member in american history 
for the last year and also for this year also till now i am the only person on the forbes finance council member and i have been i have been writing so many articles and you can just google search about me to know more about me i have written so many articles in different different industries including cpa magazines and also in the forbes there is an expert panel where we discuss about recent uh, recent economical changes and i am the only indian in few of the expert panels where i have been sharing my knowledge but can you put everyone on the mute if possible so why taxes are very important why do you need to know about the taxes we spend more than 2000 hours in a year to earn what we are earning today and every dollar on average we are spending 40 30 to 50 30 to 50 percent in taxes towards federal taxes uh, state taxes medicare taxes social security taxes state taxes uh, city taxes and different different taxes so if you look into this few statistical reports so our majority of expense in a month if you look into that every, every whenever if you want to buy a house people think the majority of the expense every month is our home home expenses like maybe home mortgage or rent but the actual fact is most of our expenses are uh, driven by taxes so whatever you do our uncle sam wants money so whether you earn money you make a dollar he wants a tax even you make a 100 one dollar 10 dollars on your bank deposit as interest you need to pay taxes on that you make money you need to pay taxes you spend money you need to pay taxes you save money you need to pay taxes you die you need to pay you need to pay estate taxes so whatever we do we we cannot escape from uncle sam so what is the solution we need to become expert on that subject or at least we should know what is there in the subject if you like we spend so much of time for our vacation our uh, family time or maybe uh, even to make money or even to buy a house we spend so much of time on how to reduce our monthly emi to find a reasonable house which can be in line with our budget but all of us how much time we are spending to save taxes because that is the biggest one but we don't spend time there so that is why it's very very important to know about taxes and on average i was saying people pay around 30 40 50 percent in taxes but if you go and do google search about multi billionaires millionaires ultra wealthy people or successful people or intellectuals they don't pay a lot of taxes like us what is the reason because they know where to focus so their their success if you see their tax the tax rates are less than 1% 2% 3% but ours is 30% 35% 40% the the reason is the secret sauce for this success is tax planning if you think about taxes only when we file taxes we are doing wrong if you are meeting your cpa or an accountant only at the time of filing taxes we are doing wrong tax planning has to be done throughout the year there are so many opportunities are there only we should get aware about what's happening and ensure that your tax guy is following all those strategies when they are filing the taxes so tax planning is very very important so uh, so uh, and and this is the time now in the next one two months we all will be filing taxes and whenever we go and uh, uh, file taxes we will get shocked when we see our tax bills maybe 50000 70000 100000 200000 maybe based on what level of income you are generally if you go and ask your an accountant or cpa hey i am being paying so much of taxes can we do anything the first thing he says is no if you do anything more you will be behind the bars actually that concept is called tax evasion but there are always lot of opportunities available on tax saving but if you can plan in advance that's called tax avoidance so if you find a way how do you save taxes in legally and legitimately it's called tax avoidance so our focus should be always on tax avoidance not tax evasion so then so uh, so what is the uh, when was the last time your accountant or cpa or tax pro came to you and told you hey there is a tax saving tip here with this you can save some taxes do you ever heard from your an accountant 
during the year saying that yes can you do this can you do this or to say you do this you save these taxes if you are not hearing like that you might not be on the right you, you might not be in the right hand as i was saying that a majority of, of every dollar we are earning 40 cents on average we are paying as a taxes so it's very very important with whom you are working whether are the is the person is proactive or not or whether that is either tax planning is involved apart from the tax return filing tax returns filing is a template given by irs but you save taxes only when there is a when you add this tax returns filing with a tax planning a flavor of tax planning it's a very very important and as as we are going to talk about as we are going to file taxes now in the next one two months for the previous year it's called 2021 so so i want to just focus only on 2021 tax rates to avoid any confusion in general whatever money we make we need to pay taxes but irs says for the first 25100 dollars for the year last year 2021 if you are if you are filing a tax return as a married filing jointly you don't need to pay any taxes first 25100 dollars free you don't need to pay any taxes but if anything more than that the tax rate starts it starts from 10% it can go up to 37% so you, this is an average, this is what the tax rate, our tax rates are slabs. So based on your income, the tax rate changes. Then you, you, most of you might be filing taxes for the last 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. But there are so many changes have taken place in the last two years because of the pandemic. Because Kaun IRS has come forward and said that, come on, I want to help you. So I want to just focus on few recent changes which are applicable for your 2021 tax returns. So I want you to bring this awareness so you can ensure that you are uh, your tax guy when he is filing a taxes is implementing everything. I recommend every one of you go and check these provisions, whatever I'm talking. Go and ask your tax guy, have you done this or not? Have you done this or not? Have you done this or not? Then only you can, you can ensure that you are optimizing your savings. The first one is for the last year, Every one of us, if our income is less than $150,000, we would have received recovery rebates. It is stimulus payments. Every person in our family would have received $1,400. If you have received it, it's 100% tax-free. You are not paying any taxes on that. You are eligible, but you have not received by whatever reason. You can claim this money when you file taxes. So don't forget to check this. Child tax credit. How many ch children we have, dependent children we have, we get $3,000 for every child we have, if they have SSN number. And if the kid is less than six years old, we get up to $3,600 for every kid. So, and if your income is more than $440,000, you are no more eligible because of it phases out. Then last year, many, many of us might have received unemployment income because the unemployment rate was very high. If you have received any unemployment income because you didn't have any job for some time last year from the government, if you received for the first $10,200, it's completely tax free. You don't need to pay any taxes on the $10,200 for the first. Then charitable contributions. In general, whatever contributions you do towards charity, you don't get any tax deductions if you are filing a standard tax return. But for the last year, if you have done up to six hundred, up to six hundred dollars, you can get a charitable tax reductions if you have proper supporting documentation. Then, if you are running a business, you can go and meet your clients, customers, vendors, suppliers, and whatever money you are spending towards your meals expenses at the restaurants, they are hundred percent tax deductible. Earlier, it was not the case; it was only fifty percent, but now it is hundred percent. And if you are a teacher, you can get up to two hundred and fifty dollars as a qualified uh, as a qualified teachers can get an extra tax deduction. If you if you are running a business or if you are a ten ninety nine contractor, if you received any PPP loan amount that is hundred percent tax free if it is forgiven, don't pay taxes on PPP loan amount. And if you have received employee retention tax credit, if you are running a business, if you received any employee retention tax credit. You have to pay taxes on that. 
then dependent care fsa generally if if you are contributing any money for the dependent care fsa you use it for uh, to take care of daycare expenses when you send your kids to the daycare in general by the end of the year if you don't use the money it will be lapsed but because of the pandemic most of us not sending our kids to the daycare last year so government said you can roll over the unused balances to the next year so for the 2021 if any unused balances are there which were contributed in the last year that can be rolled over to the 2022 also so these are the very high level of changes what we are going to what we what what we discuss then generally you file taxes you have two options standard tax return itemized return so if you are if you if you any person as i said that every person if they are filing a married filing jointly for the first 25100 they get a standard deduction it's called standard tax return on top of the 25100 are there any other additional benefits yes that is called above the line deductions you can contribute to health savings account i will cover that in a next slide you can do the charitable contributions up to 600 dollars you can get 250 dollars educator expenses you can contribute to the 401k and ira and you can contribute to the health insurance premiums and if there is any student loan also you can contribute yeah so you can get a tax deduction and if you want to go for an itemized what irs says is they have listed down few expenses around five expenses if all these five expenses together expenses of is more than $25,100 which is a standard deduction then you can go for itemized deduction it means you can claim more than $25,100 tax free so what are the what are those expenses if you are spending any medical expenses if it is more than 7.5% of your total income or salt it is state and local taxes to the maximum of $10,000 if you are paying any home mortgage interest expenses or if you are doing any charitable donations or if there is any natural disaster and if you incur any expenses all this together expenses together $25,100 then and as home mortgage is very popular just i want to discuss a bit more about the home mortgage if you have if you own a house for the primary house for the loan of up to $750,000 loan you can get a tax reduction but if it, if if you got the house before 2007 before 2018 and if you have a mortgage loan if you have a mortgage which you got it before 2018 up to 1 million dollars interest loan of interest on up to 1 million dollars so these amounts are tax deductible the interest if anything is more than this amount it is not tax deductible then health savings account <coughs> internal revenue code is very big including their uh, their uh, clarifications notifications acts and everything one of the best strategy is hsa health savings account how does this work you can contribute up to $7200 for the previous year before april 15 if you have an health savings account for the last year for this year for the year 2022 you can contribute up to $7300 and you can get a tax deduction on the, your contribution like example if you are on 40% tax bracket on this $7300 you are going to save 40% which is approximately couple of thousands of dollars and you can open hsa account only when you have high deductible medical insurance plan and whatever money you contribute you get a tax deduction this money can grow tax free it means you can go and invest this money in your uh, sorry you can use this money for any of your medical expenses for your lifetime in your lifetime there is no time limit in your lifetime and as long as you use the uh, use this money for your medical expenses they are tax free withdrawals and instead of using this money i recommend you you have an option to go and invest in the stock market i recommend you to go and invest in the stock market and it grows tax free tax free tax free tax free tax free it grows maybe in the after 15 years 20 years 30 years for your medical expenses you can use after that so by the time money whatever your 7200 may become 15000 dollars may become 100000 dollars based on the stock market performance but you are not going to pay any taxes on that 
it grows tax free so this is one of the great strategy you contribute when you contribute you save taxes it grows tax free if you with take the money out it's a tax free so then dependent care tax credit if husband and wife both are working and if your kid if you're sending your kids to the daycare irs says come on you are you are working so hard take this extra benefit for whatever money you spend towards the daycare 50% of your money whatever you spend is completely tax free it's a tax credit it means irs and coming and giving in your pocket hey come on you take this money 50% of your expenses but to the maximum of $8000 expenses it means for every kid you can get up to $4000 additional incremental tax credit if you are sending them to the daycare and to, it is a maximum of $16000 if expenses but is to the two or more two or more kids are going to the dependent care you can get a maximum of $8000 from irs towards dependent care tax credit and and i and i know most of in our community most of us are working on 1099 contractors as a 1099 contractors also if you are working on a 1099 contractor or if you are running a small business which is a single member llc then i strongly recommend you to consider converting into an s corporation if your income is more than $50000 if you convert in general as a single member llc or 1099 contractor you are going to pay federal taxes state taxes your city taxes medicare taxes and social security taxes but if you are if you can if you elect your company into an s corporation then you don't need to pay the last two medicare taxes and social security taxes on your net income but you have to take some reasonable salary from the company on that you need to pay medicare taxes and social security taxes so consider this strategy this this one strategy can help you to save few thousands of dollars if you are a single member llc or 1099 contract then whatever money we make in general we eat so much but remaining all money what we do if we earn this much we eat only this remaining whole money we invest somewhere most of our community members invest in two places one real estate the other one is stock market so both are considered as an assets and whenever you sell them you incur capital gain taxes and you the capital gain tax rates are a bit different from regular income taxes if you are holding the property for more than one year it's called long term capital gain tax long term capital gain and the tax rate is 0 to 20% based on your income level for the 2021 if you are holding the property that is in the shares or shares or property for less than one year it is called short term capital gain and the tax rate is nothing but our regular tax rate so the tax rates are slightly differ from the long term capital gain taxes and so whenever you are living in your primary home and if you want to sell your primary home as we all know our real estate market is doing great i know many many of you might have sold your primary home now either to upgrade to a new house or maybe moving to a relocate maybe moving to some other uh, city if you at all if you are selling your primary home and if you incur any capital gains up to $500000 you don't need to pay any taxes if you live there for at least 2 years in the last 5 years so it's a tax free money $500000 whenever you are selling your home then 1031 exchange as i saying that real estate if you have some invest if you are having some capital gains on from your investment properties or any or if it's a real estate instead of paying the capital gain taxes to the government you have an option to go and invest this entire sale proceeds to buy some other property some other real estate like kinded property and this transaction has to be completed within 180 days then you are deferring your tax liability you are not paying any taxes this is a very popular if you are if you are into the real estate but if you have just have one property as an investment property you might not aware but i want to just bring it to your attention then the second one is the losses at a stock market 
generally when in the last couple of months our stock market is very volatile and generally what we do whenever the market is down we wait and see if the market goes up back or not we wait to sell anything till the market is up rather waiting you can sell your stock and book your capital losses whenever you book your capital losses these losses can be adjusted with any capital gains current year or for the future years it can be roll over roll over roll over roll over an example i have a capital loss of 10000 dollars today when the market is down instead of waiting for up again i just sell my stock i book 10000 dollars loss this 10000 can be adjusted with any current or future capital gains if not we can adjust up to 3000 dollars every year with our w2 or 1099 income or business income if any like example in this 10000 dollars example i use 3000 dollars 3000 dollars to adjust with my w2 income the balance 7000 dollars will be rolled over to the next year next year next year next year you can roll it over every year 3000 3000 3000 you can adjust it but only one condition here is there is a concept called wash sale rule when you sell the stock and book the loss you cannot buy the same stock within the next 30 days like example now amazon stock is down i want to sell amazon stock book the losses because i believe amazon will outperform in the long run again i can buy the same stock but after 30 days only so this is called tax loss harvesting then retirement planning in my first slide I told about, I have given some statistic reports. If you notice there, an average American savings rate is less than 1%. So IRS says, I, IRS wants to encourage taxpayers on tax savings, so on savings for the retirement. So what IRS says is, okay, come on, if you want to save any taxes, you go and, uh, sorry, I, I'm not, if you want to go and if you want to save taxes there is one option you can go and save something for your retirement if you go and go go and do, do the long term savings then we there is a tax incentive so how does this work generally the tax structure is bifurcated into three categories taxable tax deferred tax advantage taxable it means whatever money you are making now you pay taxes immediately in the same year like example you make some interest income on your savings account or W-2 income, or you are selling some stock, you pay taxes every year. Tax deferred is, you enjoy taxes now, tax savings, but you will be paying taxes in the long run. An example, 401k contribution, you may be enjoying the tax savings now, but you have to pay taxes in the long run whenever you take the money out. And the tax advantage category, you pay, you pay taxes now, you pay taxes now, but you enjoy the taxes forever in your lifetime. Like example, Roth IRA, Roth 401k, 529, money bonds, or life insurance retirement plans. So this is a, just a snapshot of different different tax rates, uh, sorry, uh, contribution limits. I'm not going in detail, but just I want to give a snapshot for easy reference if you want to refer this recording later. And the very important, the first most important on the retirement plans is 401k. Many of us underestimate the power of a 401k. In general, whatever money we have, we go and save somewhere and we our tax savings, may our rate of return on our investments may be 5%, 7%, 7 or 10%. But if you go and save in your, uh, contribute in your 401k, you are going to enjoy returns immediately up to 30-40% based on your tax rate. Of course, yes, there is a long-term hold. You cannot take the money back before 15 and a half years, but there are a lot of strategies are available whenever you want to go back to India or whenever you want to change your job to access your 401k in different levels. And most of the most very important point from in respect to 401k is if you if your employer is doing any matching, don't ever miss employer matching. It's a free money. If you contribute 6%, they contribute 4%. You contribute 6, they contribute 4. The 4% is a free money. Don't ever lose that free money. 
if you have more money more than this contribution matching still you, i recommend you to contribute to the maximum which can be up to $20500 for this year 2022 then solo 401k if you are a self employed if you are a self employed person or if you are a 1099 contractor if you are doing a business on single member llc then it could be our s corporation and if you don't have any employees no w2 employees then this solo 401k would be a great strategy for you you can contribute up to for this year 2022 you can contribute up to $61000 if you are in the 40 percent tax bracket you are saving approximately 24 to 25000 of dollars in taxes instead of paying to irs you are keeping that money in your pocket $20,000. So, and then if you are, and you to contribute this for the previous year, 2021, you should already have 401k in existence as of December 31st, 2021. If you don't have it, then you cannot contribute for the previous year. At least open it now for this year. And if you don't have a solo 401k, then I strongly recommend you to consider SEP IRA. You can contribute up to 25% of your total earnings from your self-employed business before April 15th for the previous year. On average, if you make some $100,000 as a W2 income, uh, on a, uh, as a income from your business, or you are taking a W2 salary from your S corporation, 25% of your income, salaried income, can be contributed to SEP IIA. This is only for the self-employed people only and if you are having an employees if you have employees i don't this supplier is not for you if you don't have an employees or if you are a 1099 contractor this could be a great strategy then <coughs> IRA, independent retirement account every one of us can contribute to ira and whatever money you can contribute up to six thousand dollars maximum if your age of more than 50 years are above, $1,000 extra. Extra you can contribute. So on that money, you get a tax reduction. And, and, you, and you can do this contribution for the previous year before April 15th of this year. And in general, there are two types, traditional Roth. As I covered earlier in my tax structure, traditional is nothing but tax deferred where you enjoy the tax benefits immediately but you need to pay taxes in the future. Roth, you, in, you pay taxes now, but you enjoy the taxes forever in your lifetime. So imagine if you can contribute to this IRA every year, $6,000, and if your income is less than $125,000, you can contribute to the traditional IRA. If your income is less than $208,000, you can contribute to the Roth IRA. And I recommend every one of you to consider contributing to the Roth IRA rather than traditional because traditional is like a bomb. You need to pay taxes at some point of time in the future. We don't know what tax rate you would be. And, and, and Roth IRA is very, very important because once you put this money, once you put the $6,000 for you and $6,000 for your wife, even though she is not working, once you put this money, it grows tax-free. Once you put this $6,000, you can invest wherever you want. Real estate, you can do the business, flipping business, or you can invest in the cryptocurrency, startups, pre-IPOs. You can invest wherever you have, wherever you want, through self-directed or Roth IRA accounts, and this money grows tax-free. I want to give one example. There is a guy called Peter Thiel. He's a co-founder for PayPal and also a board member for the Facebook. He invested around $2,000 in 1999 from his Roth IRA account into Facebook. Right now, his current his balance in Roth IRA account is $5 billion. So assume if he invests this money from his personal account or from the stock broker's account, how much money he would have paid now tax as paid as taxes? Maybe around $2 billion. But because this is a Roth is a tax free, he doesn't need to pay even a single dollar as a taxes. So Roth IRA is a great to, tool. Don't ever miss this. It's not only that guy. There are so many other multi-millionaires or billionaires have big, very big balances in the Roth IRA account. This is a public balance. This is a public information. Then what about you? If you don't have a Roth IRA account, you are missing a lot. And so, uh, so someone asked me, Anil, you are telling me so many retirement options. 
what is the what is the order of operations first one is don't miss 401k matching to your employer level then roth ira contributions then 401k balance contributions if at all if there is a possible go and do a backdoor ira if you still any money left money is left over then go and invest in the stock market from your brokerage accounts and before this december before april 15th so these are the last minute tax saving tips first one hsa can contribute up to 7200 dollars for the previous year traditional iira can contribute to 6000 dollars or roth iira 6000 dollars profit sharing retirement plan if you have any retirement plans like soro 401k or sep iira you can contribute now and 529 plans if you are living in any of these states then you can get a tax deduction for 529 plans for the previous year contributions now so for 2021 before filing taxes you can contribute now and enjoy the tax savings so then my my next favorite topic what is other ways so for the w2 employees the opportunity to save taxes is very less what are the other opportunities we have to save taxes the most popular the most uh, the most uh, one of the best one is start a business some side gig side gig even though you are working in a w2 doesn't matter you can start a small business when i was working in amazon i started my tax business in the side and when i see the when i found my passion is there after a couple of months after a few months i quit amazon and i start enjoying my passion in the same way you i i strongly encourage every one of you to explore something where you have a passion to work america is a land of opportunities if we have a proper visa green card or citizenship if you don't have a business you are missing a lot of opportunities and you are not utilizing the resources why are you saying so much about the business let's see turn your passion into the business and you enjoy all these tax benefits as long as they are business related legitimate and you have proper supporting documentation home office expenses as long as you use exclusive and dedicated place as a primary place of your business or as an admin office of your office of your business you can claim home office expenses like utilities insurance hoa security mortgage interest property taxes a fixed percentage of your total expenses can be claimed travel expenses whenever you want to go out and meet your clients vendors suppliers or customers prospects all these travel expenses are tax deductible meals categories whenever you go out and meet your customers vendors reference agents tax deductible maximizing depreciation if you buy a vehicle it is a tax deductible healthcare strategies any health insurance premiums are tax deductible accountable plans and startup cost like computers laptops monitors printers technologies or r and d activities paying to a cpa or an accountant research all these expenses are tax deductible but don't misuse these expenses those low these holes these loopholes they I mean sorry these uh, provisions yeah, as long as you have the supporting documentation is legitimate if you can prove that they are business related come on claim these expenses and and auto deductions if you have a vehicle and if you have a business you can claim either mileage standard mileage expenses how many miles you travel in a year you can get 58 cents per mile uh 58.55 cents per mile or you can claim actual expenses like fuel repairs maintenance insurance tires or depreciation if you buy a vehicle which is more than 6000 pounds that can be claimed 100% as a tax deductible depreciation in the same year if the vehicle is more than 6000 pounds then if you are running a business and if your business was impacted last year because of the pandemic the government is giving i and e r t c employee retention tax credit for every employee you have you get $7000 per quarter per eligible quarter it's a great great amount if you have a lot of employees it's a great tool if you have not considered e r t c and if you are running a business i strongly recommend you first check if you are eligible or not i help in i have been helping so many business owners to save few millions of dollars towards these tax credits so don't we don't miss this opportunity many small see now you understand how many opportunities we have a being a small business owner the first important thing is you need to have a part time entrepreneur mindset once you have that you can do lot of offer, lot of opportunities are there you can become a real estate agent you can become a photographer you can become a mortgage real mortgage loan loan officer 
you, uh, you learn uh, or you can even become a financial advisor you can start helping your family is friends or your community on retirement planning kids education planning or pro insurance protection or long term planning or uh, and if you want to become a financial year planner i am here to help you ping me or send an email to me to this email id and i will i am happy to help you to to train you as a financial planner because we are in need of lot of financial planners we have thousands of clients and we need team and if you are interested i am happy to help you on to become a financial planner then the and fbr and fatca reporting because we all hailed from india or from asian countries it's very important to know what are the provisions uh, connected the uh, tax provisions in related to the international transactions if you have more than 10000 in any foreign financial accounts you have to file a bar foreign bank account reporting and if if you have more than 10000 in any foreign financial accounts and this can be at any time in the last year even if one time it hit your bank account 10000 dollars or more you have to file tax, uh, fbar fbar is a document which we file to file with department of treasury this is not an irs reporting it's a, just a reporting tool just it's a reporting you are not paying any taxes here you are going to tell department of treasury saying that i have so much of bank balance in those in those accounts that's all you are going to do it and <coughs> this doesn't include real estate properties no it's not for the real estate it is only for the financial accounts what is a financial accounts definition definition of financial account includes any bank account saving deposits fixed deposits or stock brokerage uh, stocks shares equity commodities or insurance policy with a cash value most of you might have some insurance policies it can be lic birla or whatever icici if we have an insurance policy with a cash value that is also part of this 10000 dollars calculation and and mutual funds or even how any private company share holding all these accounts uh, all these amounts have to be together exceeds 10000 dollars you have to do a fbar filing if you don't have a, if you don't do a fbar filing there is a big penalties and interest will be levied why do you want to do that just go and report it if we, i know that most of you might be thinking i have not been reporting is that okay if i report it now absolutely it is okay you can go back to the last 6 years and you can file your fbar and you there is a concept called uh, scp scp is a systematic processing something uh, systematic process pro, uh, scp process so it is introduced by department of treasury with that option you can go and file fbar for the last 6 years so but just be compliant why do you want to take risk just be in compliant then if you have more than 100000 dollars as on the last year or if you have more than 150000 dollars in your bank account at any time in the last year in the foreign financial accounts you have to file form 8938 otherwise there will be heavy penalties also there then then the secret the secret if you see as if you if you now right now you, we have discussed so many strategies did you ever discuss these strategies with your tax professional the secret of the secret success the success the success secret for the tax proper appropriate tax planning is working with the right tax strategist and the team with whom you work very important just don't just file taxes go and get your tax planning also done for this year at least so that you are going to save a lot more in taxes and as i saying that we have been helping the community by offering these services these services for free like if we offer this call as fin 360 services where it's a one time it's a couple of times sitting where we cover investment guidance tax savings college funding guidance financial aid guidance retirement planning and also protection planning asset protection life protection estate planning this is called 360 and we are doing it just for free for our community if you want any of these services just send an email to us we are happy to help it is called financial planning this is not tax planning it's a financial planning and if you want to become a financial advisor reach out to me i'm happy to help you also there and if you are a business owner i'm happy to help you to design a tax planning report a road plan to save taxes if you are a business owner only 
if it is an individual we do this tax we offer free tax planning whenever we file taxes for an individual so it's a 100% once you file taxes we offer free tax planning for every individual we sit one on one and we help you to design a plan for the year 2022 and once we file taxes with us we will take care of your retirement planning kids education planning and everything is we don't charge anything extra for those services once we file taxes with us for the individuals if you get any notices audits in the future everything is protected you don't need to pay us anything more in the future so and if you file taxes before december february 28 you get 10% discount on our services and if you are a business owner we are happy to offer 25% discount for the first year if you if you want us to file taxes and many people think changing an accountant at cpa is very complex no changing an accountant is very very easy as long as you have an access to your books you have lost two years of tax return enough to change your an accountant if you are if your team is not helping you to save taxes if you are not giving the right value addition to you you can change your, your cpa or an accountant or cpr a tax pro and we are happy to help you if if you need any help there and thank you very much for this opportunity and these are my contact details you can send an email to me you can call us you can schedule a meeting for me only if you are a business owner if you are a business owner we have a exclusive business owners whatsapp group you can be part of the business owners whatsapp group we continuously share lot of information all the time and i am open up for the q and a questions and thank you thank you anil garu it's very helpful i hope uh, our all the viewers and the participants uh, benefited uh, but as you said we have some uh, questions we already received do you want to go ahead and touch base on it then we will take the chat questions also we have from the chat with we'll yes. on it so go ahead yes so i received a few questions on fbar I, I i try to cover all those questions uh, in my presentation but just those questions i am just repeating here for everyone to everyone to can hear so fbar reporting for us citizens if i file taxes in india how do i report with irs tax filing when do i file fbar if you file taxes in india still you need to file even though you are filing taxes in india still you need to file fbar in us because filing fbar fbar so because your bar is a reporting to the department of treasury not with the indian government so you have to file your bar whether you have tax returns you whether you file tax returns in india or not if you are if you if you have more than 10000 dollars balance in your foreign financial accounts at any time in the last year the next question when do i file tax fbar fbar you need to file by april 15th but it also has an automatic extension to october 15th uh, uh for, for the previous year then what are the limits in the foreign bank accounts as i already covered it's a 10000 dollars aggregate you have 10 accounts doesn't matter add all this together or your insurance policy values all this together if it exceeds 10000 dollars you have to file fbar what are the records to show if i have to file fbar you don't have to show any records but you have to give your bank account details or the account like example if you have a stock brokerage account you have to give that account number the address also and don't think that how do government us government knows about my savings or investments in india they have an understanding between those countries we have a double tax avoidance agreement and we do also have an understanding that few uh, banks have to report to us government as required so don't think that government will not know about your indian investments they will come to know if they want to get on to the things and what are the then next question is next next question i received from uh, uh, audience is what are the tax implications for an annuity when it is when it is out of the surrender or its completed form annuities are taxable whatever money you received through a towards annuity you need to pay taxes just like on your regular tax rates it is like you will get a 11099 which has to be included in your tax return and you have to pay taxes on your and your uh, at your regular tax rates so there is no tax it is a taxable event and 
The second one is, can it be transferred to the CD without paying to pay taxes? Answer is no. You have to pay taxes whenever you want, you are taking the money out of annuity. And once you pay taxes, that money you can invest wherever you want. Whether you want to invest in the real estate, you want to invest in the CD, it's up to you, but you have to pay taxes when you touch your annuity. And my next question is on trust. Uh, how, do, how do I form CLAT in, CLAT in kind with existing brokerage companies like Fidelity? We are not licensed attorneys. Only attorneys and uh, trusts are always a complex. And I recommend the person who ever raised this question, I recommend you to work with and to check with an attorney, not with a tax strategist, because we because we are not licensed, we are not supposed to get on the in the shoe shop attorney. So because this this is recording being recorded, I don't want to do any wrong uh, any comment which may have wrong interpretation. So we are licensed the professionals for the taxes. So we don't want to step into the attorney attorney licenses. And uh, now next one is. Trust formation. Can you explain trust formation? As I said that trust, CLAT trust, there are so many trusts are there. And if I talk talking, if I start talking, it, that itself is can be one hour session. And as I said, this is being recorded and I don't want to comment anything about the trust because I don't have any attorney licenses. So I want to skip this question for now. And and I'm, I'm done with my Q&A questions, which I received in advance. Sri Devigar. Um, Bindu and Srinivas Garu, um, do you want to take the other questions we got from it? And in a prerequisite also only one question I'll read it, then I'll, my team will uh, take over. Um, I would like to know basics of odd tax return and fill, fill in form I-9 and a tax return. Uh, can I, I'm sorry, I'm not very clear. Yeah, basics I, to know, I would like to know basics of a tax return and a, for how to fill the form i9 got it okay so form i9 is not part of the taxes actually it's a tax uh, this session is for the tax returns filing and i9 form is when you go and look for a job then we got an i then we take i9 it's an hr form human resources it's a hr form they do they do it basically in i9 form they ask for your ssn number your bank account details and also your uh, address. That's what they look for in I-9 and also what is your validity when you, uh, th those other things are there, but they are not part of our regular tax returns filing. So I am not expert on I-9 form, but it's a simple form. If you have any more questions, you can send an email to me. My contact details are already shared and I will share it again. I'm happy to help you on that. Otherwise we are diverting our topic from taxes to HR activities. And I just shared some contact details, my contact details in the chat box. Feel free to send an email or schedule a meeting with me. If you are a business owner, you can we can schedule a free tax assessment meeting with me. If you are an individual, I offer paid consultation because we are in the service industry. We offer paid consultation. If you want any, if you want to talk anything, you can schedule a meeting. Or you can just send an email to me. I'm happy to help you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Thanks, Anil. Okay. The questions I'm for, I'm uh, taking the questions from this chat. The home mortgage of 750k is still capped by SALT SALT lim limitation. No, there is no limit for that. No. Good question. Yeah. Okay, Anil. Next question, Ade. Um, hmm. So uh, please touch upon tax saving opportunities on short term capital gains. Less than one year or whatever the term yes, is. Yes, yes, Short term game. Dantlo Mali Janalu, they're asking about uh, tax. Dantlo, tax low tax. Huh. Yeah, actually, I mean, Ade, considering the shortage of the time I didn't cover, there is one on uh, opportunity zone investment. For the short term capital gain, there is only one option. Two options are there. One, uh, 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 tax loss harvesting. I will just share my screen so it's easy to explain. So, do, 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 opportunity. Well, one thing which I already covered is uh, tax loss harvesting. It means if you have any short-term capital gains, look for your market, always stock market. Whenever the market is down, try to sell the stock if it is in the losses. 
So this, these losses can be adjusted with your short-term capital gains. That is the one good strategy because always market goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Whenever this market is down, whenever you see some red stocks, sell them, book the losses. Those losses can be adjusted with your capital gains, long short-term capital gains. And the other one is qualified opportunity zone funds because considering the shortage of the time, I didn't go through that. If you, if you have any short-term capital gain or long-term capital gain, you can go and invest in a zone, in the zone funds is called OZ fund, where these funds will be invested on a land development or building our commercial development. The government says, government identified a few lands in, uh, which are underdeveloped, but there are some developers who develop these underdeveloped lands to, uh, to, uh, to bring the value, uh, economic value addition. So they convert into the commercial places. And if you go and invest money in those funds, you are deferring your tax liability. And you can you don't need to pay taxes unless uh, until 2027. And if you hold this investment for the 10 years, whatever capital gains you make on these investments is completely tax-free. In simple terms, right now you are deferring your long-term capital gain, your short-term capital gain taxes. Instead of paying to IRS, you are going and investing in an opportunity zone funds. And you this opportunity zone funds, if you sell it later, after 10 years, whatever money you make on this, that is completely tax-free. So these are the only two opportunities we have to save on long-term capital gains, short-term capital gains. And if we have more than a couple of hundreds of thousands of dollars, more than a couple of hundreds of thousands of dollars in short-term capital gain, there are some trusts which can be created and it can be help you in tax savings. If you have more, then you send an email to me. I'm happy to help you on saving bigger capital gain taxes. If it's a small money, these are the only two options what we already discussed. Okay. The next question is, okay, on converting 401k to IRA and the limitations once you retire. Okay. So converting, rolling over your 401k to IRA, there is no tax impact in the you can roll it over and, but if you roll it over in general, when you convert it, no taxes from your IRA, you can take an RMD, required minimum deposit, or you can, you can withdraw money whenever you need as per your retirement plan. There is no tax impact, but if you convert them into the Roth IRA, you need to pay taxes. But if you're already retired or about to retire, I don't recommend you to convert to the Roth IRA, rather roll it over to the regular IRA, and you don't need to pay any taxes on that. Okay, okay. related question, Andy. Same thing, okay, from the same uh, viewer. If you are making more than 250K, you are not eligible to, may, uh, to have both a Roth IRA. How are these billionaires uh, having Roth IRA? <laughs> Very good question, Andy. Again, considering the shortage of the time, we cover only a few things, okay? But there is a concept called, there is a concept called backdoor IRA, Andy, okay? So backdoor IRA, this is what everyone does it. Very good question. Because you cannot, if your income is more than $208,000, if you can see the screen, I, may, I will explain the concept. If you see, you cannot, if your income is more than $208,000, you cannot contribute to the Roth IRA. But you can contribute to the traditional IRA, but you don't get any tax deductions because your income is more than $135,000. But you, this traditional IRA contribution can be converted to the Roth IRA account. It's called backdoor. In the front door is closed, but backdoor is what you are doing it. But whenever you do this backdoor, you should not have any other pre-tax rollover IRA accounts or any IRA accounts. You should not have any IRA accounts. Then you can go for this backdoor IRA. If you have any IRA accounts already, convert them into the Roth by paying taxes, then you start contributing to the backdoor IRA. I am personally doing this backdoor IRA. If anyone has any more questions, I will, I will explain this. Because of the complexities, we try to, I will not try to put all the knowledge at the same time. So, but it's a good question. This is a very good question. That is how all billionaires build money into the Roth IRA accounts. Okay, Alingaru, next question, Andy. Hopefully this is a front door. Um, <laughs> can we use the tax loss credits for tax gains in a 401k account? It is a round about six or um, So let me repeat. Can you use the tax loss credits, tax loss credits 
for tax gains in a 401k account no no no, no only you cannot but 401k no, is no, like no, a retirement no, account no, you cannot no, combine yes hmm. okay, no. okay next question is if you open a roth ira account a year after closing an existing roth ira account what happens i mean you close an account and you are opening an account doesn't matter but the maximum you can contribute is only 6000 dollars if your age is of 50 years under 50 years okay right so you the opening and closing in the mundu cover ayindi so next question is what type of retirement accounts can be directed to real estate investments excellent any retirement account can be converted into the self directed and so self directed ira self directed 401k self directed simple ira self directed sep ira this and self directed ok word untundandi ante entante meere direct chestuntaru so like example if you open these retirement accounts in the fidelity or vanguard you cannot direct so vaalu evu cheptara stocks akkana maatrame meer invest cheyagalaru but if you can go and do the google search it's called self directed so then you can open a self directed and you can do it i can send you one link to here so where you can open self directed ira or self directed retirement accounts and you can invest in cryptocurrency stock market real estate wherever you want okay next question is uh, man explain about w4 runner okay so w4 okay so w4 runner again this is connected with our uh, how much money is withhold Uh, 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 for the pay slips ante prathi nela manaki pay slip vastundadi salary man work chesinappudu dantloni w4 form man w form lo w4 lo iche declaration prakaranga enta taxes ni withhold cheyali anadi employer decide avtaru so basically this w4 is nothing but how many dependents you have or how many exemptions you have if you are paying lot if you are in w2 only e rent loni if you are paying more taxes and a tax returns file chesinappudu again your accountant is asking you to pay to pay more taxes ante meer w4 lo declarations correct ga ivvaledu ani meaning so you need to go and correct your declarations reduce the number of dependents there appudu me correct ga balance avutundi ledu if you are getting lot of refund from irs when you file taxes ante me employer ఎక్కువ విత్ హోల్డ్ చేసేస్తున్నారు బికాస్ అగైన్ డబ్ల్యూ ఫోర్ హ్యాస్ టు బి అప్డేటెడ్ మీరు ఎక్కువ విత్ అంటే మీకు రీఫండ్స్ ఎక్కువ వచ్చినా లేదంటే ఎక్కువ ట్యాక్స్ లైబిలిటీ ఉన్నా దాని మీనింగ్ మీ డబ్ల్యూ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ రాంగ్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు బి అప్డేటెడ్ అండి సో ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ ఐ రికమెండ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఆఫ్ యూ టు చెక్ యువర్ డబ్ల్యూ ఫోర్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ యువర్ లాస్ట్ ఇయర్ ట్యాక్స్ రిటర్న్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు మీరు ట్యాక్స్ రిటర్న్స్ ఫైల్ చేసిన తర్వాత మీకు తెలుస్తుంది మీరు ఎక్కువ పే చేస్తున్నారా ఎక్కువ రీఫండ్ వస్తుందా ఈ మీరు ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ ఇన్ దీస్ బకెట్స్ go back to your w4 and do the tweaking accordingly okay no sidhav garu manam pravin gar ki first prize ivalandi ee question ki this is a common bumper question anil garu and the question is um, as we all know uh, i think most of us have property in india so if we sell the property aa dabbulu etla desuravali first question and then he is worried about uh, how is the money going to be taxed is the favorite question sir in indian community lo yes sir definitely and even i can talk also my time allow just yes i will talk i am an expert in that area so because i am also a chartered accountant from india so okay simple concept ent ante you we need to pay taxes where we make any money ante man oka sale kan man chase india lo ni indian government ki daniki daniki dani meedi enta tax kattalo tax kattali that is the step number 1 we need to pay taxes for that dan tarvata taxes pay chesina aa taxes mana us lo kuda report cheyali us tax returns lo kuda ani us lo ne transaction jarigatla ga mana report chesi kani india lo tax pay chesthe danni mana credit teeskuntam andi we have a double tax avoidance agreement between us and india ante okka degara maatrame tax pay chestam we don't pay at both the places we pay taxes at only one place and india lo pay chesasam kabatti us lo ki meer tax pay cheyakkarledu idi number 1 ante ఒక ఒక ఏదైనా సేల్ చేసినప్పుడు ఇండియా ట్యాక్స్ రిటర్న్ ఫైల్ చేయాలి యుఎస్ లో కూడా చూపించాలి దిస్ ఇస్ ద స్టెప్ నెంబర్ వన్ స్టెప్ నెంబర్ టూ మీరు ఆ డబ్బుని యుఎస్ తీసుకొని రావాలి అంటే యాజ్ లాంగ్ యాజ్ యూ పే ద టాక్సెస్ టు ద గవర్నమెంట్ యూ కెన్ గెట్ ద మనీ టు యుఎస్ ఎవరి వాటా వాళ్ళకి ఇవ్వాలి మీరు యుఎస్ ఇండియన్ గవర్నమెంట్ కి మీ వాటా ఇచ్చేసే ట్యాక్స్ ఇచ్చేస్తే దెన్ యూనిట్ గెట్ ఎ ఫామ్ కాల్ ఫామ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సి ఏ 
form 15CB by the local chartered accountant stamping you saying that, hey, we taxes pay chase SRE double million. Like example, we got one crore chindi. One crore made me rock a 10 lakhs tax cut talent called long term capital gain. 10 lakhs cut tax in Taravata, up a local chartered account of a stamp chaser. He taxes annual pay chase SRU go free to go out of country. Up to form 15CA, 15CB, Ochin Taravata, you can get that money to US. So this is how it works. And uh, if and uh, if you need any help on this, reach out to me. I'm happy to help you on that process. Okay. Yeah. Any time limit for opportunity zone investment? Yes, and very good question. Uh, it's a six months and after you got the money, and the capital gain incur enter the six months and and then like example, my last year in November 2021, loan in sale six months time on to me and approximately. November, December, January, February, March, April. So till April, you have a time. So. Okay. And if, and, and, and if and we, we do a lot of research for opportunity zone investments. And the chala opportunity zones on I trustable person on a Kavali in the Kande, we cannot invest somewhere we, where we don't know. But the mark lines cost of Chala capital gains also the Chala Mangani. We do a lot of research. We identified a few guys. If you make our kind of connections, seven a Kavali. With the trustable resources, Kaval Academy Investors, send an email to me. I'm happy to help you. Okay, and I'll go next question. Back door. Front door, I guess, and back door. So we don't have to go there. Uh, next question is Can we take stock losses in IRA account and show to IRS? So why do no. you have to show to IRS? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. This is in link to the end of the question. Mm -hmm. ni, 401k gains adjust chesko, chante, no. Retirement account is separate and the separate and we don't need to pay taxes on the retirement gains right now unless you take the money out. So yeah, no, and the answer is no, Ravier Miradin person. The answer is no. Okay. Yeah, the next question is is 208 and 208k household income limit or individual income limit? It's a household. Uh, household income limit or individual income limit and uh, household income. It's a household income. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Next month. Looks like my Bindugari Ill is on fire today. All real estate questions. <laughs> so for a real estate investment, does the entire funding has to come from the self-directed retirement? Okay. Self-directed retirement or can be combined with a loan. Okay. You can it can combine with the loan and so basically, whatever down payment has to be done, use it from this self-directed accounts. And I mean, Roth IRA gani rollover 401 k gani onta one Roth self-directed Roth IRA convert Yes, you can you can get the loan. You can pay from your pocket also. You can contribute like example one million property this kunamu one of two hundred thousand dollars katali one remaining eight hundred thousand dollars you can get the loan two hundred thousand dollars you can contribute from your self-directed IRA account. Or for hundred thousand IR and inchi or hundred thousand mirror code patch, but a day if the equity shareholders on Tarakara on the one. So Akara IRA number of Midu Chasaru, Midanic SSN number of Artaru as equity shareholder, IRA account, IRA account number of Artaru. So good, and we are done with the questions. And one last question is where is your office located? Okay, yep, we are in Seattle and so, but we have clients in almost in every state in America. We have licenses to file taxes in all the states in America. And we, we are in this remote world, everything can be done in remote. We use encrypted secured portals to exchange the data. And also the, the uniqueness with our firm is to for any help is we offer tax planning. And we have a tax returns file. But everyone with a Kurchan Mali tax planning command the tax sale chase era, the chase era, the choose era, every time spent chair. But we do the, we are unique there. That's what we have clients in almost in every state in America. We have a lot of CPS in our company. And the, even the tax planning also will be done only by CPA. A qualified licensed CPA only will sit with you one on one, we'll review your things and we design plans. Thank you, Anil Garu. Very informative session. I know a lot of questions. Looks like it's a Hard topic of as a, as usual. Maybe down the road we might come up with uh, another session also to continue with it and other so, topics. Right? 
And I also just want to let everyone know, uh, we normally like uh, we have a uh, TFAS has a YouTube channel, which is called the TFAS Media. Somehow we couldn't uh, uh, live stream today's session, but due to some technical difficulties, but uh, this uh, we recorded the Zoom session, we will be uploading to the YouTube channel and we will be sending that link to all our members. If anyone missed it or you want to go back and refer whatever the slides uh, Anil Garu shared, uh, then you can review those uh, slides again and again. And if you have questions, uh, feel free to reach out to him. And uh, yeah, in my intro, I did miss it by Anil Garu being a Telugu and uh, get, doing all this, uh, very uh, having this uh, financial advisor come a tax expert is very helpful for our Telugu community, definitely. Uh, that being said, uh, uh, thank you very much. But before we log out, I just want to say our uh, uh, vice president of membership chair to say a few words about our thing, then uh, followed by vote of thanks by our uh, secretary, Bindu Elementary. Uh, Siddhartha, yeah. one, one question, Andy. Most yeah. important question, oh, Anil okay. Garu, um, I think your services are all free for Telugu community, but let me ask the question anyway. No, 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 no. The services are not free for the Telugu community, sir. <laughs> Don't pass on the information like that. No Member question again. Most important question is Telugu or Mujasthan session. How much do you charge, sir? The top Excellent, question. sir. Very good question, sir. As I said, it's a package. We don't just file tax returns, and we always try to help. Filing a tax returns plus one on one CPA tax planning plus retirement planning. Plus any future IRS audits, protections, notices, all this together, we do a we, we charge our tax returns and but on average our tax returns filings are two hundred dollars to five hundred dollars But person to person it changes because when the month real estate properties are going to come on the more K ones are going I recommend everyone of if everyone wants our help, call us based on the situation. We can give an exact quote for you. Sir. But on average, it would be two hundred dollars to five hundred dollars, which all comes together as a package. Great, Andy. Thank you, Anil Garu. Yes, sir. So, as you all know, I am Srinivas Chiru, membership chair for TFAS Andy. Uh, TFAS trustee elections for 2022 and 24 is going on right now. And all the eligible members would have got the ballots by this time. And ballots due date is March 14, 2022. And maximum two ballots, member and spouse are allowed for each member. So that is about the trustees elections. And on the other note, okay, please notify all the members. Okay, please notify us the address change, email change, phone number change, so that we can update the TFAS membership database accordingly. Andy. So that way we can communicate with you all easily for all these awesome TFAS events happening throughout the year. And also people who are not the members of TFAS yet, please join us as we have a membership drive going on. Uh, lifetime membership is only $75. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Andy. Thank you very much. Thanks uh, for this opportunity. Yeah. Bindu Garu, go ahead for a word of thanks and you're on mute. Uh, thank you, Shridhar Garu. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Anil Garu, for putting together a wonderful, timely program for us. Um, this is just uh, for me personally, lots. It's a very interesting topic. Um, my team knows it. Um, we really appreciate you took your valuable time out of your schedule to share a wealth of knowledge with all of us. Thanks again, Anil Garu. And I also wanted to acknowledge my team who's constantly looking for good programs, timely programs for our community and bringing them to all of you, either online or in person. Uh, special thanks to my president, Garu Sri Devi Jagalamudi, uh, my VP membership chair, Srinivas Sheru Garu, treasurer, Jyoti Gandhi Garu, um, our IT chair, Anu Dasrigaru, who couldn't be here today. Our cultural chair, um, Anu Paragaru, who's here. Uh, our community chair, Ravi Anadanamgaru. Special thanks. And for, uh, I know Ravi Garu, I know you're on, uh, on the road and I know you made special uh, effort to come here and uh, you know support all of us. Finally, from our team, yeah, thank you. finally, from our entire team, we like to extend special thanks to all who have attended the program via Zoom or uh, um, unfortunately, I mean, YouTube didn't work, but uh, we'll make sure that this is uploaded to our YouTube uh, channel. Um, I'm seeing uh, our past uh, ECs who've, uh, uh, you know, special thanks to all of them who came. Um, I'm going to mention a few names and forgive me if I've uh, missed any. Prabha Garu, Bhavaraj Garu, Bharti Garu, 
గురు అల్లంపల్లి గారు సతివేణి గారు రాధా గారు స్పెషల్ థ్యాంక్స్ అండి నేనో యునో యువర్ యూర్ ఆల్ హియర్ టు సపోర్ట్ ఆల్ అఫ్ అస్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ కరెంట్ టీమ్ అండ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ యువర్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ హూ హూ జాయిన్ టుడే వీఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు బ్రింగ్ ఆల్ దీస్ వండర్ఫుల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ and uh, many more upcoming um, uh, wonderful programs so the next event entante march 27th is our trimurti program which prabha garu is heading uh, so please keep a look out for the information uh, it will be online this time just like last time and we had some uh, um, wonderful feedback for that as well ippudiki dhanyavadalu na peru bindu elamanchali telukala samiti secretary ni prasutaniki salavu thank you so much thank you namaskar thank you thank you and thank you very much thanks for this opportunity you all guys i can see a great team work here and i think it's a you lot of webinars lot of seminars for many associations but <coughs> for this you specifically i am seeing a, a specific attention i am getting um, for your team work meer andaru kalisi 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 chestunaru so it's a very very good thing to see and and all the best for all your future events also thank you and Thank you Anil Garu as we said we will be in touch with you and we will try to continue to have other sessions as needed for the community to serve the community okay thank, thank you, you thank you yes. take care have thank a nice day thank you Thank you very much. Satyavani Garu, very nice thank to see you. Andy. Thank you very much. Like it was a great topic. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. <laughs>